Did I just make a double espresso at eight o'clock at night? Yes, I did. Good morning. It is Friday, November 27th. Is that right? We are in the final few days. I have literally Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to finish my book, get it formatted, finish the edits, and upload it on Monday before we leave for vacation. So I almost can't even believe I'm bringing you guys along for this part of the crazy process, but hopefully you're cheering me on there. I am definitely cheering you guys on as you head to that final stretch for NaNo. Don't give up on this book, you guys. Like I was saying yesterday's vlog, the work is not over just because you hit 50,000 words. So don't make the mistake that I made my very first year in NaNo back in 2007 or whatever year it was. I think it was 2007 that I wrote a book and never finished it. And it's actually kind of a funny story because I had printed out what I wrote in that 50,000 words and it was really the first novel that I wrote but like I said I don't necessarily count it because I didn't ever give it an ending but I got a good 50,000 words into it and I had printed it out it was sitting in my computer space or whatever and my husband years later was going through some of the stuff and he was like oh I haven't read this story and he always reads all of my stuff and he I walk into the office one day and he's like turning the pages on something and I'm like what's wrong he's like where's the rest of the story? And I was like, what are you reading? <laughs> and he said, I don't know, this one about the, the twins and the guy in the cave and this. And I was like, what? Where did you find that? He's like, it was on your desk. I thought you wanted me to read it. And I was like, no, I pulled that out because I was thinking about finishing it. But I said, there's no end to that story. And my husband goes, what? There's no ending to this. I have just spent hours reading this story. It's really good. Where's the end of it? And I was like, oh my gosh. So I actually have read sort of some of the beginning of it to my fans on a live reading once and they were all like, you got to finish this. So whatever you have written, even if it feels like it's a diamond in the rough right now, like, okay, it's going to need a lot of work. The plot isn't all together. The story didn't go the way you expected. None of that matters, but it will stay a rough story, a rough draft forever unless you keep working on it. So even if you need to take a break because you've been working really hard to hit this 50K, take your break, but then get right back to it. If you didn't finish the story, keep working on it through the months of December and January. Get the edits in. Start figuring out what you want to do with this book and don't let it go because one of the biggest mistakes you can make if you won is to just feel like you pushed so hard to get there that you just don't have the energy to finish it out. So don't give up on the story. Come back. I will be doing some videos in the month of January about what to do with your rough draft and how to polish it up and edit it. But I also do have a series here on YouTube, like an entire playlist about how to plot a novel and then how to edit a novel. Also how to plan and write a series. So I will link all of those playlists for you down below. You might find something helpful there. We are also going to be doing an event in December that I've done for the past couple years, which will be basically like an hour long live stream where we are going to plan out your writing schedule, your editing schedule and everything for the month for the year of 2021. And that will come with a free download and everything. So I hope you guys will join me for that. So if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. The fun continues long after NaNoWriMo is over. But I have to survive the next three days first. So I am going to get to work. I was about to look at this like a watch. So I just got this bad boy in the mail. This is the new Amazon Halo. And it's only like early release. I had to request to get access to it, but isn't it pretty? So this is a steps tracker. It's rose gold on the inside, but then it's just this band. There's no, like, you can't see your steps unless you look at the app, but it tracks your sleep, your tone of voice, your quality of life, basically how much movement you are doing. And I've used a lot of different activity bands in the past and they always bother me, but this one I keep forgetting is even there. But when I do, I keep looking for a watch and there's no watch. It's just a band. I'm a little nervous of how well this pink will hold up over time, but we will see. But that's kind of a new, a new thing I just got approval for and it came really fast. So I'm excited to try that one out. As I'm looking at my desk right now, it's like 
everything is rose gold and pink. And you guys saw my new phone. So I guess I'm really feeling that sort of rose gold, metallic, coppery vibes right now. I can't help it. That is neither here nor there. It is just after 10 a.m. The baby is down for a nap. So I'm going to spend the next two hours working on the book. I started reading through the second part of the novel. So I've mentioned this before. It's not set. It's not separated exactly by three acts, but the second part of this book, which is about the second 30,000 words, I am still, I sent the first half of it off to my beta readers. My husband is reading it, but I need to get the last half of that cleaned up and then I have the last 30 to 40,000 words of the book to finish up in the next couple days. So let's get going. <laughs> okay, quick update. It is now just after noon, so it's 12.02 p.m. and I just added 978 new words to my book. So I'm at 65,727, which is awesome. So this is my main draft here, and it is currently just under 60,000 words. So I just added a new scene up here to the beginning of part two because I've been reading through and sending things to my beta readers. So most of part two is now in their hands, but I still have a couple scenes here. These like last three or four scenes need to be kind of reworked. So what I'm planning to do now is head down to eat some leftover Thanksgiving from yesterday because we still have tons of food as everyone does. So we're going to eat some lunch and then I'm going to come back and work on this. I have a live for today and I've got to run to Target all the way in North Charleston because I ordered a gift for my husband that's a surprise that was really, really on sale for Black Friday. So I got to go pick that up. So it's going to be a busy and long day, but I have a feeling things are about to start flowing, hopefully. Did I just make a double espresso at eight o'clock at night? Yes, I did. How cute is this little cup? I absolutely love it. It's so cute. But I am basically, I just uh, made a new banner for our sprinting group that has the live sprinting times on it. It's super cute. But when I actually loaded it to the group, it, <laughs> it cut my head off. But, you know. It's all good. I do not have time to fix that. But if you're in our sprinting group and you're wondering about the times, these are the live sprints that are going on every single week. So that is now on the actual image of the post or of the group. But I basically now have to get yesterday's vlog uploaded and ready to go. So that's what I'm going to work on. And then I'm going to get back to writing. Club will go all night. I see you in the back. The mood is right. If I just had your number, quick update. So it is almost 11 p.m. And I've been working pretty steadily doing writing sprints with Rhiannon in the Facebook group. And I have added just over 2,100 words of new stuff and maybe 2,000 words of old edits that I've worked through. So going pretty well overall, but I have definitely hit a point where I need to stop and write out all the scenes in the order they're going to go in in the new draft. So it just is going to organize my thoughts a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to go down and do it on the outline wall or if I'm just going to make a list as quick as I can up here. My husband is beside me out there um, reading through things and making comments. And I can see that one of my beta readers is also going through it right now, the second part of the book. So hopefully I'll get some good feedback on that and just going to keep going. I did uh, get kind of hit with a headache. So I had to take some ibuprofen and I uh, drank some water and I'm feeling better. So I'm going to keep going. Most of the rest of the evening tonight might be uh, organizing those scenes of the rough draft, seeing what I can use and what I can't use. So it might not be any more words, but that puts me really close to 68,000 for the month so far. So that's awesome. i um, feeling definitely good about that. And yeah, it's going to be basically tomorrow needs to be a huge day. So I don't want to stay up too late because then I just I'm going to be useless tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can get a little bit more done tonight. And I will update you at least one more time before I go. Okay, 
So I have spent the last 40 minutes or so going through the scenes list that I want to put out using my color coded stickers and kind of marrying all of that stuff with my uh, note cards that I have. I have been listening to, um, I've kind of been really into these ambient sounds kind of one. So I've been listening to Ambient Worlds, Harry Potter, Gryffindor Common Room, which uses some of the Harry Potter actual like score, which is really cool. And so that's kind of where I'm going to sign off for the night. Tomorrow and Sunday have to be like literally epic days, but George just finished the uh, second part of the book and he said it's going well so far. So that's all good. My beta readers should be reading it now as well. So things are moving along, but we are down to the final couple of days to do this. And I'm getting a little bit nervous. I also, that headache is back and really pounding like right here. And I've just got to get some rest. I think I just haven't been getting enough sleep. So I'm going to get a good night's rest tonight. And I'm just going to pray for a huge day tomorrow. Now that I've got the momentum of the final act, this should go faster than before, but it, there's still a lot to come. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven scenes outlined that need to come next. And some of it is from old words, but a lot of it is just like, even as I was going through the old rough draft, it's like so much of the character arc stuff has changed and their powers and how it all comes together. I think it'll be faster for me to just rewrite it than to go in and try to tweak those things that don't really work. In my experience, that's the way it is. So it's mostly going to be new writing and I'm just have to face it where it is. I can't change how it is. So I have to just meet myself where I am and keep going from there. So this is me signing off day 27 of NaNoWriMo. Let me know in the comments how your word count is going. If you're still chugging along, trying to hit that 50k. If you've passed it, if there's no way you're going to hit it, let me know kind of where you are. And if you've enjoyed these, I hope that you'll give this a thumb up, thumbs up, comment down below and make sure that you subscribe. And let me know in the comments that you've enjoyed these vlogs. We only have a handful left to go and they're going to be intense. So I will see you guys for the next one tomorrow. Good night.